Candidemia, Invasive Candidiasis Treatment Algorithm The Infectious Diseases Society of America has developed guidelines for the initial treatment of candidemia and invasive candidiasis. Simple steps for treatment are outlined in this clinical practice algorithm. Successful treatment of candidemia and invasive candidiasis requires the recognition that treatment options differ between clinically stable patients with mild to moderate disease and clinically unstable ones with severe disease. If the patient is in a stable condition, plus the candida species is known and there has been no recent azole exposure, the preceding therapeutic considerations are preferred. Treatment with daily fluconazole IV with subsequent step-down therapy to oral fluconazole is preferred, and echinocandin, such as anadulafungin, caspofungin, or mycofungin, may also be used, but the patient may be transitioned to oral fluconazole when stable. Amphotericin B or a lipid formulation of amphotericin B should only be used if the patient is intolerant to other medications or other antifungals are not available. If the patient has severe disease and is in an unstable condition or has an infection due to Candida glabrata, Candida cruzi, or an unknown Candida species, the following therapeutic considerations are preferred. It is preferred that treatment is initiated with echinocandin. Subsequently, if the patient stabilizes and is afebrile and the candida species proves to be susceptible to fluconazole, then fluconazole may be employed due to its lower cost and ease of administration. Amphotericin B or a lipid formulation of amphotericin B should only be used if the patient is intolerant to other medications or other antifungals are not available. In all cases, therapy should be continued for two weeks after the last positive blood culture with candida species and until symptoms resolve. In addition, when deciding on the therapeutic agent for candidemia, consideration must be given to other comorbid issues such as renal or hepatic dysfunction and potential drug interactions.